Hello YouTube, welcome to Race Car Fabrication and Restoration. I'm Ronnie Humphrey. Thanks for joining me today. Happy Thanksgiving 2023. I hope you guys are having a fantastic time with your family and able to sit back and relax a little bit and just reflect on how good God has been to all of us. I know I've got a lot of things to be thankful for in my life. We've taken a few days off, hadn't been filming lately, and uh, I've been traveling a lot for work but we have been very busy here in the shop. So we're gonna catch you up with a few projects that we've been on. I think you'll find very interesting. So stay tuned. Well, I guess we'll start off with the bad news. We had a sponsor showing to do a couple of weeks ago, and I was actually in Florida, and my son uh, took the truck over there for me, and he was unloading it, and the winch cable on my 18-foot trailer broke and allowed the truck to roll back, and this nose caught the trailer fender, and it busted all that loose. Uh, kind, of, kind of a bad deal, especially since we just painted it, but we went in here and I spent a few hours and got everything. It's actually better than it was originally now. We braced it up with that piece of steel, that sandwich on the bottom and the top. And so that's good to go now. Uh, that's two pieces of metal there on top and bottom. We got all our brace put on, had to weld the bottom down there. Plus the bar that goes around the nose was bent pretty bad. We got that fixed up though. We're gonna get that painted hopefully this weekend. I'll probably do that Saturday. I'll finish the body work up on it and uh, get that sprayed. And then we'll get the front end all back together. So that'll be a good thing. So that was a little bit exciting news that you missed. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. Well, we're supposed to take this T-Bird down to Houston this weekend. Uh, we've got a session scheduled down there on the road course, 2.7 mile road course. And I've got the car ready to go, of course, as you've been following us. We've got uh, everything uh, fixed as far as oil leaks and uh, fresh oil. And we've got, uh, we've worked on the wheels. Every one of these wheels were leaking air. We got all those bleeder screws fixed on, or not the bleeders, but the second inner liner uh, valve fixed. Uh, on the valve stem on those wheels. Got all that done. Uh, the only thing I need to do, I need to scale it. We're going to do this Saturday. We're going to go through the car and... Uh, I want to change the angle on the rear trailing arms a little bit. Uh, the people that were racing it, uh, they had it set up, but uh, I'm going to put on what I think will work. I talked with a friend of mine in Charlotte, and he agreed with the setup we've got. We're going to go with some 800-pound uh, front springs. I'm uh, going to put some 250s in the rear. Uh, I'm probably going to put about an inch of rake in it. It's not a rake's real car, um, but I think we'll probably put the right house at uh, with a one inch rake, five in the front, about six in the back. Um, but really, I'm not going to do a whole lot. We're going, I want to check the track bars way too high. Uh, I need to get on the scale pads, and we want to probably get uh, get our cross weight. I want to check that as well. But the main thing, I want to get that track bar down on both sides and get as low as we can, but where it's level. We've got to do that, get that on, on our uh, scale pads. But uh, anyway, looking pretty. Uh, Pretty sporty. Uh, I got to get my granddaughter. She told me she's come clean up the windshield. That's all that's got to be done. We figured out how we're going to get gas in it. So uh, I think we are ready to go. I got to go buy some gas. I checked on a friend of mine up here the other day. If I could just go buy five gallons, it's only $12 a gallon. So that won't be bad. Got the uh, little edges car ready to go. Uh, since we've been with you last, it had a vibration. We searched and searched. I took everything apart. And the drive line, we even went and had the uh, wheels balanced and the tires balanced. And uh, finally figured out it was the drive shaft. And we were real anxious to take that over to my friend's track. And, but it's ready to go now. And as soon as we get time to do that, if we get rained out with this car this weekend, uh, we may end up taking that thing over to the track and having some fun with it. So we'll see how that goes. Another project we've been working on the last couple weeks is getting my trailer ready to load these cars up and I went ahead and contacted race ramps and ordered me a new set of uh, ramps you can see these are extremely long 
I've got it blocked up there a little bit, but still doesn't make up the crack. But this is the only way to go to get a, a low car in to your trailer. I took the dovetail off, you can see over there, but this will get our angle right. Big thing was I wanted to put a little better winch in here. So we put a, a brand new winch. This is an old one, everything's for sale if you want it, contact me. But uh, put a new battery, new winch. And I want a bigger winch so I can carry enough cable with me to go all the way past ramps plus the other 10 foot I need to be able to get under the rear end of the car. So when we suck it in here, cause we were having to extend the winch and after losing that truck the other day, we're not gonna do anything else to take any chances. So we're gonna fix that. Also got our generator mounted. I've always had toter homes and this is kind of new taking a generator with us, but I bought a new generator and it's uh, it does uh, enough amperage to be able to run this trailer and everything on it. So that's another project, got that done. Um, this is electric start. This is a nice little generator. It's a, it's a Wesson house. It's a 50 amp service. That's what I wanted with 50 amps. And that's a pretty nice deal there. I still got to get fuel. I haven't done that yet. But there you go. We are almost ready to load up. A couple other little projects you might find interesting. These are some uh, roll around carts that came from our local newspaper. These things will hold 250 pounds. I bought three of them, see them back there. But uh, these things are extremely uh, rugged. I put a shelf there in the middle, but this is for our little champ car. We're gonna go run at uh, Barber Motorsports over at Birmingham, Alabama. And it's got all of our spare hubs and stuff for the little BMW. If you go back, you'll see the little BMW went picked up in Minnesota. But that's got all of our pieces. We've got some more stuff to go in there. Got a couple of clutches going there still. But uh, that was a pretty fun little project to do. But that is uh, a little handy. It can be real handy. Just roll it into the uh, trailer and be good to go. I also built these shelves in here. That's something else I did. But there you go. That's about where we're at. Uh, sorry we haven't been putting out any videos for a week or so, but hope you understand. We've just been really busy, but we'll get back here on the wagon now real soon and keep you updated on everything. Well, I hope you liked that update on some of the things we've been doing here for the last couple of weeks while we took a break from filming. Um, we have a very small channel here on YouTube. We only have about uh, 4,000 subscribers. And I tell you, there's no money in YouTube in case you're wondering. I just enjoy doing it. I've made some really good friends as far away as Australia, Canada. We've got lots of friends who enjoy working on cars. And look, the way we do it may not be like how they do it out on the East Coast, but we get it done and our cars look nice. And that's the most important thing. And if I can ever help somebody with some uh, ideas, I'm glad to do so. And we've made a lot of good friends and, uh, across the country who are working on cars right now. And I kind of give them some advice and it may not be the best way to do it, but if you're like me and have limited tools, you can get stuff done. But most important thing, and I want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy time with your family and your friends. And just take a few minutes and, and let God know how thankful you are. You know, I lost my brother this, this year and uh, that's just devastating to me. But I'm still thankful. He's still good to me. And we don't understand why everything happens sometimes, but God is still in control and he is going to take care of you. So make sure you give him thanks for everything going on in your life. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. We'll see you next time on Race Car Fabrication and Restoration. God bless you. You take care.